I hope you guys appreciate how unbearably hot it is in this ridiculous getup. Please excuse the unconventional entrance. Oh god, it's loud. We like to put the fun in functional here. It appears your invitations were mysteriously sent out a little early. The facility isn't open to the public yet and hasn't been fully tested for trainees. Oh god. Never mind. I guess you'll be our beta testers. Come on through. So, Wazda. I'm enjoying the soundtrack. But yeah, everything it reminds me of Stanley Parable. Uh... Well, that's clearly not... Oh, I've got a... Ah, okay, so right-clicking is, is moving my hand. I can jump, that's new, or a 3D platformer. And then the left mouse... Oh, or the, the, ma the mouse in general is just moving me around. Okay. Got a grabber. What book is that? Oh... Can I abstract living magazine? Is that what that says? Wait, can I turn the graphics up? Ultra quality, we are on ultra quality. Look at that shadow. Rubber ducky collectors. Oh. What I like, particularly with Bossa Studio stuff, is the, the amount of background detail that there is. Got some very important health and safety Teething stuff. Teething troubles with the doors, I'm afraid. The unlock button should be nearby. This looks like a thing to force me to crouch. What's that? Hands off. You can't stop me. I want that one. <laughs> well. I physically... Cannot get low enough. My hands are well and truly. Like, what? Okay, I'll just sort of crab my way through here. Now, this is the beta build, so I'm expecting some potentially minor bugs. Ah, shift, okay. So shift moves our arm relative to us. Shrub life. Don't want that filth in here. And then, yeah, that spins our hand like that. Got a limply wave at this button. Well, guys, I'm firmly beaten by the first challenge. Oh, there we go. Excellent button uh -huh. pressing. You're a natural. Yes, I'm just standing with my arm outstretched in this weird way. I am sorry about the mess. There we go. I can retract my arm a little bit. This music is great. Uh, yeah, so that's grabbing and holding stuff. More rubber duck collections. The chain's on all these locks, it's extremely inconvenient. That door requires an ID card. I'm sure I left mine around there somewhere. I mean, I feel like that wasn't the solution that was advertised on the wall. But whatever. So we're looking for an ID badge. Mansplaining your mainframe. Is that an ID card? Or is that a tape? They look kind of like ID cards. You bet. I'm sure there's some form of deep developer joke going on in here that I don't understand. Donut? Take it. Yes. It's mine. Yeet. Fossil Labs. I mean, should we try this? Anyway, I'm Dr. Pamela Preston, one of the founders. You'll nice be the very you. first to trial our Surgeon Simulator program. Exciting. That is very exciting. Surgery. Well, that's what we're here for. Okay. Uh... Nothing to see here. Well, I will be the judge of that. Impudent book. Oh god, that grip. Ugh. Be gone. 
Is this the medicine? I'll take this with us in case we need it for treating patients. That was a big thing of glass. Oh well. Crouch. As I said, it's a work in progress. Very much. Oh, so I'm past the glass, so now we can continue on our merry way. A voyage to the surgery. Oh, I need another ID card. I'm always losing those things. Why do you have so many of them? That seems like very bad practice, and they're all the same. This is Bob, a oh. manager local. Excellent. You'll get to know very well through the course of the program. The Surgeon Simulated Training Program is a groundbreaking new approach to surgery. We'll, real we'll see about patients, that, Bossa. Real conditions, simulated scenarios. Soon you'll be able to tackle all kinds of medical emergencies with ease and confidence. It's all terribly exciting. Let me in. We'll start your training with a quick heart transplant. Don't oh, that sounds... Worry. I'll walk you through it. It'll be a brief... Normal. Oh, but... Hmm... I'm... Not sure why that door is locked. Julian? Why is that door locked? Come on, Julian, sort me out. Okay, well, Don't have time for this. Have to come back later. This Let's man needs a heart transplant. A Onwards. Uncanny. Guys, that's actually what I'm wearing under the surgical gown. Okay, let's try this instead. We're going to attempt a leg transplant. That sounds... Really? Going from... A truly generic book. It was Abstract Living Magazine, as we can now tell on the higher detail settings. I actually can't see very well through this mask. I feel like rubber ducks clearly have some sort of value, like significant value in this universe. I just want to find out that Surgeon Simulator has some super dark, like Lovecraftian lore behind it all. That gadget with the screen is a diagnostic scanner. It'll tell you what's wrong with the patient. What's Lesson wrong with me? One. Why Keep do I hurt? Blood level. No. If he bleeds out, it's game over. Why does everyone keep leaving? Oh. According to the scanner, Bob's got a dodgy right leg. Rip it off. Okay. Right leg. Excuse me a sec, Bob. Rip his right leg off and put it in the chute. Yeah, no, I... I got that, I'm just trying to... Oh, Good. Now yep. Quickly pop the leg in the chute. In the chute. This bit? Great. Now use a yellow syringe to stop Bob's bleeding. Okay, better put that in the old bleeding hole. Perfect. Doctor. Now, grab the fresh leg and just pop it on. Yeet. Uh, grab the fresh leg. Is that this one? Perfect. Come on, Bob. Bob, you're not making this horrendously. Work. There we Remember, go. When you rip off an appendage, Bob will bleed out very quickly. That Let's seems continue. not insensible. Let's bring the notes. We're just proceeding. Looks like Bob's low on blood. Give him a top up with a red syringe first. Red, like this one. It's good practice to hold a syringe by the sharp bit. Because then you make sure that Bob can keep all the blood for himself. This is actually devastatingly. Um, okay. This seems... Oh, look, it's going in. I mean, He's looking better it's already. going in. This Rather is normal. Rather than just ripping off a limb, use a little more finesse this time. Why don't you grab a saw? 
A good sawing technique, grab the saw straight on. If you saw. need to realign your grip, drop it and try again. Align the saw with the cutting line. Place so it down gently that. and saw back and forth until it drops off. Remember, okay, if you use just... the saw, Bob will bleed out much more slowly. Yeah. Let me just... Yes, okay, this is fine. What were we doing? Was it his arm? I can't remember which arm it said. Oh. This is probably fine. We're still in the sterile field, right? I'm gonna say this arm. Come on. Ah! What on earth? There was, like, gore attached to my... I mean, I guess I can hurt him further down, right? The arm's coming off anyway. Oh! Oh! Blood loss. I trained for this in medical school. Blood loss zero. Um, I don't know how that came out of his arm. I know I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. I genuinely think that this game is harder than performing actual surgery. Done? Ah! Blood. One and a half litres of blood. That doesn't seem like an awful lot. But can I go ahead and attach? Why is this stuck in there? And alley up. Alley up. Am I not doing something right? Go on. Wait, this is a right arm. Have I chopped off the wrong arm? Nope, we're good. Bob lives to see another day. In a manner of speaking. Double arm transplant. You know what, I'm not even sure at this point. I absolutely wasn't listening to the instructions. <laughs> Nearly there. No, oh. It's, it's stuck. <laughs> oh God. Hear me. Poor Bob. Try again. Anesthetics? Why would you do something like that? Well, it seems that the left arm wasn't even supposed to come off, so... Really, I was doing him a favour. This seems fine. I think my own arm is going to come off before his does. Oh wait, that was the soaring motion. Not that- oh god, I pulled something out. It's probably fine. Oh, Bob, come on! That music doesn't sound very promising. No! Bob! 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 Ooh, messy business. Try not to kill him this time. So accusatory. Why is he not coming up? Is it because of the... detritus everywhere? Well, it's not giving me any more bobs, so... Ah, oh, right, it's because there was crap left on the floor. Right, let's do this properly. There we go. Saw. Saw, we're in. Yes! Surgery. Blood loss, zero. Hopefully one of these will do the trick. You really are something. Oh, now, I know. Now remember, for a successful appendage transplant, Bob must have all of his limbs and head attached. Let's this seems see. consistent with the literature. These guys have done their research. And finally, an organ transplant. Remember to check the diagnostic scanner. To perform a successful transplant, the Lungs. sick organs must come out. The rest of the organs are optional. Crack the ribs with something heavy to get at his lungs. Oof. Like this cooler. I mean, it 
might work. Oh, that sounded like a crack. Did that work? Lads, I think we've actually done it. <laughs> you know what? I'm as surprised as you are. <laughs> you know the lungs are like the trees of the body. Because they are made of wood and disappearing at an alarming rate. I mean, you know what, to be fair, losing 5 mils of blood a second. I'll put that in there in case. Can we clean it? Sorry, bossa. 7.3 out of 10, not enough water. Um, other lung. Don't know where your hand's going, Bob. But I'd appreciate if you didn't do that while I was in the room. So we've got lots of other fresh lungs and some paint. And not a lot else. Uh, so then we need to put some nice fresh lungs shower. That's one. In fact, I wonder if we can just, you know. Oh God. I mean, it was only five when mils. My and I built this place. We hoped to open up the mysteries of surgery to the world. We believe anyone, no matter their background, can become a surgeon. As you can see, all it takes is a can-do attitude. Well, I think we have that in droves. Well guys, I think we've done enough fine surgery for today, and we'll do these, hopefully, in another video.